Hello, welcome to the 10 on 10 challenge and I'm just starting my clock now. So that's the clock started. Hello, my name is Fiona Campbell. I'm an NLP Neuro Linguistic Programming Trainer. NLP is the methodology of how we create behaviour and it's also the study of excellence. So I help people improve their communication skills, improve their confidence in building relationships, help them use the language that really gets behind what people are saying to exactly what someone means. I'm also a clinical hypnotherapist. I'm an executive coach. I work a lot with directors and senior managers in business. I'm a corporate trainer. And over the last year, I've become an online corporate trainer. So most of my work now is done online. I've done a lot of work in the Middle East. I've been working internationally for many years. I do uh, probably about still 70% of my work is done in the Middle East, but I'm now based back in the UK. A quirky, unusual fact about myself is I love cricket. I know people find that really unusual. I love test cricket. I'm at my happiest sitting for four days in a cricket ground with my magazines or book or whatever, watching a test match. For me, there's so many things there that are really, it's a mind game, it's a physical game, but also that is one of the few places in the world where I can switch off mentally. I have a very active mind and that really allows me to switch off mentally. In what circumstances, what are the circumstances that place you in your current profession? I've had a very unusual life. Um, I'm probably on my eighth or ninth uh, career, which is interesting. I started off with air traffic control, moved into running bars. I ran the comedy store in London, the original comedy store way back in the late 70s, 80s. I then travelled out to the Middle East. I was out in the Middle East and I joined Xerox. I and mean, I actually went out to run a bar in the Middle East. Then I joined Xerox. So I then went on to have this long sales career working with Xerox in the Middle East. And back in the UK, I worked with companies such as Yellow Pages. Now, one of the things I became a manager myself, but um, just watching what was going on, I started to notice that the, the stress of everyday working in business was causing incredible problems with uh, burnout, with people um, being very demotivated. Everything was hard, everything was difficult. And then 1990, I was introduced to um, a clinical hypnotherapist who invited me onto a workshop. And I started to understand the, the link between the way we think and how we um, impact our body and the way we do things. And I also started to understand that the majority of people in this world haven't got a clue about the impact their behaviour has on someone else. Most managers that maybe people are scared of haven't got a clue that they're impacting people in that way. So I ran my career, I was still in sales, but I trained for 10 years. I trained as a clinical hypnotherapist. I became a, a tutor for London College of Clinical Hypnosis. I trained in NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, with Paul McKenna and Dr. Richard Bandler, who's the um, co he's one of the co-founders of NLP. I was then invited on to their assisting team in London for eight years. Years. And in 2006, I became an NLP trainer, and I now focus all my training on leadership development to help leaders understand the impact about their communication on others. So this has all come from being in a sales position, but I took 10 years while I was still working to gradually move into that position. And it was 10 years after I first started training that I was in a position to set up my own company, which is the Professional Growth Company. 
Next question, how do you see the dental profession changing in the next 10 years? I'm an outsider from the dental profession. I did work in a, a private um, practice. I had a, my consulting room in a private practice for many years, and I used to work with phobias and all sorts of things there. But I see it turning much more, the dental profession is turning much more into customer service. It's looking after people because people are now looking to invest more in themselves than maybe they were 20, 30 years ago. And with that, it's looking after people, not as just as patients, but actually as clients that will come back and they, they will spend on different services with you. What's the best and most enjoyable part of my current role? That's really easy to answer. Watching the light bulb moments. Watching people just go, oh, I didn't know we communicated that way. I didn't know it was so easy to get rid of this problem. I didn't know that you could do this and just um, really connect with people. I probably, every single day I'm either coaching or training, I get loads and loads of light bulb moments with people and nothing beats it. It's the best feeling in the world. The most challenging part of my profession is really... Helping people to understand, especially companies, understand the importance of continued um, lifelong learning. I'm in my late 60s and I probably invest in myself every year that I'm training on something new because I really believe, first of all, it's a secret of youth. Keep, keep your brain, you know, keep that brain cells going and that really helps you feel good about yourself and it keeps you sharp. Um, but helping co having companies understand a one-off training is not going to do anything. You've got to look at some sort of program, some sort of measuring, some sort of testing, applying, and then coming back and sharing the different um, results that you're getting. So that tends to be lots of companies want you to come in and do one or two workshops. I really like putting something in over three months maybe only with two or three uh, programs, but in between we're online and we're, we're, we're keeping, people are going off and actually applying what they're learning. How would you benefit from my services? I would say if you want to really learn the, the absolute ninja um, communication skills, how you can get behind what people are saying to what they really mean. That's what NLP is all about. It's, it's the excellence. It's, it's finding out how someone's doing something, not why they're doing something. We do, I, I actually deliver online trainings. Um, I've got the NLP frictionless communication skills for leaders and coaches. And I also do executive and one-to-one -one coaching. So a coaching or training, I'm happy to talk to you about that. If I could travel to any destination, where would I go and why? Again, that's really easy because I've been there and I can't wait to go back. It's in the southwest of Thailand and it's in the province of Krabi. It's part of an area called Riley and it's part of a national beach. It's, an, it's a national park there, which means there are no umbrellas. There's no sunbeds. Everything, you just take a mat and lie in the beach under a tree. Also, you're not allowed to, they're not allowed to build there above the tree line. So when you arrive there, this is a peninsula that's cut off. So it's almost like an, an island. There's no traffic, um, plenty of places to walk and climb and massage and all sorts of things. But beautiful. You're really back to nature. It's jungle. And plus they have Wi-Fi, which means I can still be working. I still keep in touch with people. But it's, it's, it's for me, it's back to nature with 21st century technology thrown in there so it's fantastic what's the key to happiness i actually get asked this question a lot you cannot go to www.happy.com and buy 10 kilos of happy it doesn't exist happiness is not a thing happiness is a byproduct it's a byproduct of having given and done your done something that you really feel good about. So happiness is all the more you give, the more you're grateful for the things, the more you can put your focus onto someone else and help other people. That's the secret of happiness. 
If I could have any superpower, what would it be and how would I use it? I would love to have a zap that comes out the tips of my fingers that can relieve pain, whether it's physical pain or mental pain. Something that I could just go zzz and somebody could be lifted up and feel good. Or if someone's got discomfort or someone's really hurting, we can take the pain away. For me to be able to do that, that would be just... Oh, absolutely incredible. So my name is Fiona Campbell. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'm just putting this up here just now because we're almost at 10. There you go. 